Next, Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government. Many governments around the world deny their people the fundamental human right to believe according to their own conscience, including the freedom to not believe or not follow the religion favored by their government and to practice their religion freely. According to the latest U.S. State Department report on religious freedom, eight countries of particular concern are long-term, chronic, and egregious violators of religious freedom. They are Burma, China, Eritrea, Iran, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, and Uzbekistan. In Iran, authorities continue to repress Sufi Muslims, Evangelical Christians, Jews, Baha'is, Sunnis, Ahmadis, and others who do not share the government's religious views. In China, Tibetan Buddhists, Uyghur Muslims, and House Church Christians all suffer from government attempts to restrict their religious practice. <laughs> Hatred and intolerance are destabilizing, said U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. When governments crack down on religious expression, or when societies fail to take steps to denounce religious bigotry, they embolden extremists and fuel sectarian strife. And the reverse is also true. When governments respect religious freedom, when they work with civil society to promote mutual respect, or when they prosecute acts of violence against members of religious minorities, they can help turn down the temperature. They can foster a public aversion to hateful speech without compromising the right to free expression. And in doing so, they create a climate of tolerance that helps make a country more stable, more secure, and more prosperous. That was Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government.